Israelis gathered in Tel Aviv to watch a speech that Volodymyr Zelensky had wanted played to politicians inside Israel's Knesset. But with the parliament in recess, its members joined from wherever they were by Zoom. Significance remained, a Jewish president fighting a war in Europe, appealing to what he set out as a sense of shared history. Our history and our survival and World War II. Listen to the words of the Kremlin. They used the terminology of the Nazi party, so it's a tragedy that they wanted to exterminate all Europe. They did not want to spare any one of you, and now any of us. They called this the final solution. But it wasn't long before Ukraine's president pivoted to the present and the Israeli government's current policy. Israel's Prime Minister Naftali Bennett has presented himself and his country as a neutral mediating force, talking frequently to Putin. Never far from the surface, Israel's interest in keeping Russia on side, continuing to allow Israel to carry out airstrikes in Syria unopposed. Is it indifference, calculation or mediation without choosing sides? I leave it to you to choose the answer to this question. I only note one thing, that indifference kills. Calculations often turn out to be wrong and mediation is only possible between countries, but not between good and evil. Zelensky went on to chide Israel for not adopting sanctions against Russia or sending any of its high-tech weaponry, which he said could save Ukrainian lives. For weeks now, Israel's government has been arguing that its neutrality on the war allows it access to both sides, an honest broker facilitating negotiations. But President Zelensky, through the strength of his criticism, has really exploded that argument now, criticizing almost every aspect of Israel's policy on the war. It's not the first time he's used such a parliamentary address in recent days to attack that country's policy, but there was an undoubted edge to his words. Israeli ministers were quoted in the local media criticizing what they called his outrageous comparisons with the Holocaust. The official line came from Israel's foreign minister, repeating his condemnation of the attack on Ukraine and thanking its president for sharing his feelings and the plight of the Ukrainian people.